how do you think they did today considering how many? It was all right. You know, I mean, certainly first scrimmage, you know, you got a lot of teachable things, but there was some good and, and uh, you know, obviously a lot of things to work. But I thought, you know, overall, you know, it was, it was uh, you know, we got some out of this week. Any fatigue? Any fatigue? I don't know. You know, I mean, uh, I'm sure there's a little bit, but, you know, we went pretty good. You know, we got a, a good number of plays today, and the guys, guys went pretty good. You know, it's pretty good, so I don't know. What do you look for uh, in a scrimmage that maybe you wouldn't see elsewhere in practice? Well, I think consistency, you know, of play, right? I mean, that's what you're, but uh, if you're practicing right, there shouldn't be a lot of things different. Given More energy overall? For... Rock, paper, scissors. Go ahead, <laughs> Go ahead, Chris. Given what we talked about yesterday, did you, you know, the competitive drills in the scrimmage, I mean, did you see the guys respond well at least? Yeah, I think, energy you know, and that kind of thing? I think it was, you know, better, and, and, and thought it would be, you know. Um, we're not there, you know, but uh, wasn't disappointing anymore. Overall, more energy, do you think, maybe going back into full pads today? No, I, that more? should have nothing to do with it. Yeah. You know, uh, I don't know. Keep keep working and, and keep being around these guys and see what it is. To, it's just a level. Every time you step between these lines, it, it's go time. You know, I guess you got to learn that. I think today maybe you had an interception, a, a bad snap, and maybe one fumble. Have you generally clean? I mean, you feel like it was generally clean? Yeah, there was a point in the, you know, scrimmage was thinking, you know, then I think right after that is when Gonzo stripped the ball. It was a nice play by Gonzo. Had the, the bad uh, the shotgun snap, and then, uh, and then the last play was a pick, right? Uh, which, you know, as those were all with the ones, you know, that's a three turnover game. You know, so that's certainly got to be cleaned up. Uh, two penalties in the red zone. One overcame, the other one we didn't. You know, it's good learning. You know, the last part simulating overtime. You know, penalty, backed up, you got to keep playing. You know, and end up scoring on that drive. So, there's teachable moments. I think that's the one thing getting back to the scrimmages can create more real life situations. That really is how you deal with the situations. I think your quarterbacks have done every six days. Okay. So what are you looking for? You know, I think it's uh, continuing to gain understanding of the offense and then, uh, you know, consistently, you know, learning to play consistently. Malcolm had some nice runs today. I guess Russell had a good point or something. So they got some extra rounds. Yeah, I, I thought, I thought Brock ran, ran hard. And, uh, you know, he had a couple holes that were pretty nice to run through, but I thought he did a good job around. A lot of guys have opportunities this spring. It seems like uh, Ed Tinker is maybe one of the ones who's definitely got a chance. What have you seen from him so far? What do you want to see from him this spring? You know, uh, Tink's, you know, he, he's, he's flashed on some things, and, and those are so tricky, you know, when, especially on a scrimmage day, you know, when does the ball come your way, you know, and, and uh, you know, he had the first holding penalty. Um, but, you know, it's, it's over the course of you know, the spring. That, but he's got to put himself, every guy's got to put himself in position to, be able to, you know, define themselves as a contributor. You know, and then I think in fall camps when you have to worry about your starters. But can can this guy help? Is he ready to help us? And, you know, I think Tink's that's that's what Tink's got to do this spring.